Identifying and easing print workflow bottlenecks can make or break your business. But many production bottlenecks are not easy to spot and can remain hidden unless you know where to look. So, where do you start? First, let's drop the misconceptions. Your actual throughput is determined by where your bottleneck is. If your order submission is the bottleneck, you'll experience the lowest capacity and throughput. All the other stages and steps cannot be enabled because there aren't enough orders. Identifying bottlenecks like these will determine your maximum throughput. What happens when you alleviate the bottleneck in order submission? You've increased your capacity and throughput, but now your next bottleneck appears in pre-flighting, resulting in the next lowest capacity and throughput. Oh no, alleviate that, your bottleneck moves to finishing and assembly, and so on, and so on. So, how can you identify bottlenecks? That depends on the size of your business. Perhaps you can easily add people when scaling up to 200 orders per day. But what happens when you require a thousand jobs per day, or 10,000, or 100,000? How many people is it feasible to keep hiring? This is often a key bottleneck indicator. Another way to identify hidden bottlenecks is to track the right metrics. Revenue per job is often the only metric tracked to identify inefficiencies, but it is not a very accurate one. Make sure that you are also looking at touch points per job, touch points per employee, volume per employee, and overall, how well you're meeting your service level agreements. This can help you identify whether production is efficient at that stage, task, or step. This may sound like a lot of effort, but the rewards are well worth it. For instance, to make HP SiteFlow time savings tangible, we commissioned Keypoint Intelligence to identify bottlenecks and their hidden costs by establishing what the average time it took an operator to complete a task per job was. Using this data, Keypoint Intelligence calculated the saving of automating three common pre-press tasks, file retrieval, pre-flighting, and imposition. Assuming an average salary of $53 or 45 euros per hour per employee, Keypoint Intelligence calculated the following. When you think that the average printer is running upwards of 3,000 jobs per month, you can see how these time savings can soon add up into full-time employees required. And that's just three tasks in your pre-press department. Imagine the impact of automating end-to-end -end from orders to printing to shipping. An even quicker way to know if your current business is scalable is to ask yourself these questions right now. How long does it take you to onboard new clients? How many files can your team check per day, per shift, before you need more people? How do you plan to check and correct hundreds or thousands of files a day as your business scales? How many errors can you handle before it impacts your bottom line? How quickly can you hire skilled labor during crunch times, such as peak season? If your answers start giving you anxiety, then you've got a scalability problem. Now imagine onboarding clients in days, not months and only having to deal with files that are unfixable or specific high value jobs that you can change that you can charge more for. That's what HP SiteFlow can do for your business. We can help you onboard faster, turn around quicker, integrate easier, ship anywhere, grow your business, win more business. So this year, why not say goodbye to your bottlenecks and plug in and say hello to us instead.